fornoxpodcast.com website irrelevant because you just watch shit on Instagram and maybe YouTube. But today I'm going to talk about a bag that I recently purchased. And by recently, I mean like six months ago from a buddy who no longer needed it. And um going to go ahead and tell you that if you can find one of these bags, it's probably one of the most useful slim down uh, range bags. I don't know if this would be considered an EDC bag unless you randomly keep a XD or a Derringer or a High Point in your car and you don't care about your shitty bag getting stolen with your shitty gun. But yeah, this, this, uh, this is a fucking bag that I got on a whim because my buddy needed to sell it because it was in the way or something. I don't know why he fucking sold it to me, but it's great. It's awesome. Um, and uh, here it is. This is a Eagle Escape and Evade bag. One of those uh, switcheroos with words. But this bag, basically, how I use it, I think is just like a general purpose medical shooter bag or I think like a bug out bag is what they want to call this. I don't know. I got it. I didn't pay that much for it. I paid 50 bucks. You could find these on eBay and other places for sub hundred dollars. I saw a multicam one on eBay for about like 98 bucks. I should have bought it, but I didn't cause I just got this one. Um, and you see this one's a uh, mass gray, but I shot yesterday for the first time in about a year and a half. I shot USPSA. It's the first time I shot in a while competitively. And, uh, I finished in the middle of the pack. I shot limited with the uh, new uh, STI DVC that I bought from a buddy. And I finished right there in the middle of limited. I finished right in the middle of the pack for everything. So I'm kind of excited to get back into shooting USPSA. And now my focus is finding out a range bag that I could use to support one gun, uh, eight or nine mags, lubrication, hydration, um, anything else that I'm gonna need on the range, which I just realized sound like a porn. But this bag was the bag that I first grabbed because the STI will fit in it. All the mags will fit in it with a little bit of, uh, you know, support from a Magpul DACA pouch. I have Lucas uh, Extreme Duty, whatever their fucking gun oil is. I carry, basically that's it. I need to add some more stuff to the bag, but I was able to support one pistol, which was the STI. The ammo, enough ammo for six or seven stages put a water bottle in there and I was good to go. It was easy enough to carry single, single strap right here, you know, oh look, tape. Single strap right here, little pad, be able to jump, throw it on the shoulder, carry it to the next bay, get what I needed in there. But yeah, it's, uh, this is this is a really solid, uh, cheap $100 fucking bag. I say 100 because that's the max you're gonna end up spending on it. So, and how I have this generally set up is I use there's like, okay, first, let's go back to it. Let's let's do a rundown on all these pouches. So on the outside, it has these two external pockets, right? One on the left, one on the right. Then it has this back pocket right here, which I don't even know what they would advertise to put in here. But as you can see, loop and loop down here. Tons of loop. You might even be able to just put a, throw a pistol in there as like a CC area or paperwork or whatever. Front pouch. Folds all the way out like that. Folds all the way down. Tons of molly, which you can tell this bag, because of how much molly is on it, this is a pretty older, older bag because not a lot of bags come with a ton of molly anymore that I've seen or the stuff that I'm buying. It's got hook down here. No other loop in here. Maybe actually I might modify this and change this to put all loop in here. That way I can just stick some sandwich bags or some, in shit, some shit in here. But this is rad that this opens all the way down. I really enjoy that. Then... On these two pouches on the outside, keep my glasses, my safety safety equipment there. And on this one, I keep gun oil and a shot timer in case I need to use that. And these both have securing straps right here. Boom. Then, you know, like I said, single strap, grab handle right here, tight. Main compartment. Doesn't open super wide. It's not that big of a deal to me because for me, it's mostly put my hand in, grab whatever stuff I need in there. Um, on the one side, it has loop right here. And then another little inner pocket that has hook and loop, but it's not full of loop or hook. So this is probably where you can use 
I don't know, put gummy bears or some shit in there. You're not worried about it melting, getting all over your loop, jamming it all up. And then on both sides of, of here and here are both molly. And the top part right here is all molly to where I keep pens and Sharpies and stuff that I would use to mark targets or whatever. And actually, for me, the way that I have this set up is I actually have a pistol right here. I like this bag. It's gray, I wish it was black, or green, or tan, or another color, but I think for how this is set up, um, it's pretty, pretty straightforward. That's most of the bags I end up buying is pretty straightforward stuff. Maybe you can make this even simpler and get rid of all the molly and change it all to loop. Get rid of one, this one pocket on the backside, don't make it have loop and add something else into it. Because I don't see the point of having that much loop in here because of what I would stick in here. That's just me. Some people might like it and maybe even the other thing too is replace these straps right here on the edge or on the outer right here, the big strap and make that removable. That way you can use it to just hand carry. You don't even need the strap. Maybe, maybe make this strap smaller. I like the padding. It's a, it's a good, cool bag, but yeah, there it is. Eagle evade, escape and evade. Oh yeah. It's got loop right here so you can put patches on it. Obviously you see, you know, let me work. <laughs> yeah. I scored this one for my buddy. But you can check eBay, tax swap, maybe even Arfcom. You see dudes got them. You can put your stuff death bag tag on there. It's tight. Eagle escape and evade. Pretty pretty neat. So outside of using that bag for USPSA or steel match or whatever competitive shooting that I'm using for support for one pistol, I probably would really like to see some modifications like I noted in the in the beginning talking about you know, getting rid of loop or getting rid of hook or adding hook, adding loop, doing any of those types of things. I think I would like to see a bag or find a bag that's a little bit bigger than this one and use it for say rifle and pistol as a range bag, not as a bag that would hold specifically my rifle because I have trash bags for that reason, but the support system that goes with it. Because as you saw, my bag is set up to hold ear pro, eye pro, shot timer, beverages, whatever other shit that I need to have on the range with me, I would like to see something that could also do that, but be set up for rifle. Because let's face it, the main difference is magazines and whatever random ass small parts that you carry. So for me, something that I need to add to my USPSA or my competitive shooting setup is I need to carry some uh, STI 2011 replacement parts because if that gun goes down, I'm hosed or I would need to carry a spare gun, which would require me to carry a spare holster and all those other things. So as of right now, this bag for me is set up to shoot USPSA competitive shit, but also when I go to the range, I use it just as a general throw ear pro in it. Oh, my over the ear, ear pro in it, um, sword ends, whatever. Um, I pro gloves, shot timer, basically anything that's going to be an accessory that doesn't go onto a gun or into a rifle case, like a trash bag or a waste bin. Um, that's where that's going to go. So it's just a straight up extra, extra bag that lays around and I grabbed it and used it, but I like it. And maybe I might, like I said, modify it or change some things, but I think it's a good start. So as always, FortKnoxPodcast.com, um, you know, the Instagram, Fort Knox Podcast, me, my personal is uh, G Troop Corey, and as always, Superior Defense.